I just wanted to have like a little doodle design of some of my maybe upcoming stickers that I make and obviously at the moment I'm very into the kind of like the naturey cottage core vibes uh, so and I kind of wanted to add my own little cute spin on it so I started drawing these cute little toadstool designs um, and I couldn't work out whether I wanted to be sat down or standing um, these are very much rough designs at the moment and I'd like to play around with more colours and different techniques for these stickers that are a little different than my kind of very block colour and very like smooth straight lines. I wouldn't mind doing some more feathered lines. And obviously, uh, I'm very obsessed with daisies at the moment. I think because I've been seeing them kind of everywhere outside and then a lot of like fashion and uh, like homeware things I've seen recently have come out with like loads of daisy patterns. It's a Again, I feel like it's more of like that cottage core vibe that everyone's kind of clinging to at the moment. Uh, and I am also one of the people clinging to it. But fun fact, the, uh, the flower daisy is actually my birth flower. Uh, so I have that kind of little uh, pull towards the flower at the moment as well. And I use it a lot in my job as well, because uh, we do birth flower related things. Um, oh yeah, the snake plant. I <laughs> had such fun drawing because uh, every time I say snake plant, uh, my mum always laughs like it's like actual snakes and stuff. And also like I have a few of my friends have. Um, and also my partner mentioned it as well. So I was like, I have to draw this because um, every time it's mentioned, I just have this wonderful image which I tried to replicate um, in my head. And yeah, so I drew a little snail because they've, they've been kind of creeping out recently because it's been not at the moment we had a really good like sunny week, but like in the, the last few vlogs I had, it's been basically constantly raining here. Um, and we've seen all the little like slugs and snails coming out, creeping out of the corner, like having a little fun dance in the rain. And just some other aesthetic-y things. I've got like a basket with some flowers in and this little bumblebee. Um, I should have really got a reference because I was like, I'm not sure how the legs bend with the bumblebee. Like, bleh, if I can talk. The bumblebee, but yeah. Um, and then I'm just gonna go in onto the iPad and draw out some line art. Like I said, I want to try different styles. So I've got, I'm using a different kind of um, pencil to line it all in a different kind of a dark brown shade instead of my black shade that I usually like to go but enough of me rambling I'll leave you with just a bit more of a relaxing coloring and line art of these drawings and possible sticker designs
and my partner decided, as we obviously with lockdown and stuff, we haven't really been able to go out anywhere. And as like the restrictions have slowly been lifted in the UK, uh, we went for a trip to Exeter. And obviously we took the train and I always love the route that the train goes through with the beautiful sea views and like getting to see all the little boats and this is kind of the Timmouth area. Uh, which was just a really nice trip to go on, seeing as like, I don't really go on the extra line that much. Um, and yeah, it's just really pretty. Uh, so we went to Yosushi and I was just really excited because we've both been like craving having um, all of this food from Yo Sushi, so it was just amazing to be able to sit in. And it was also a really strange experience because I haven't really sat in like an indoor restaurant for quite a while, like most of the stuff has always been at home, so it was just weird to be able to get this opportunity uh, and a little pigeon friend there. And then the Exeter Cathedral, uh, we got to sit and have like a little picnic for tea, which was nice. Um, and it's just a stunning view. So I have a little mini haul here of stuff that I got um, that I'd like to show you. So uh, I went into uh, Tiger or Flying Tiger as it's known and I got these really cute little pencil cases. Uh, I believe one's meant to be a like a ferret and the other's like a little hedgehog design here and they both have little um, zips at the top and they're kind of I guess to be used as pencil cases. I'll be using them to put little like maybe a collection of my wires and charges for when I'm going away and like this is useful for lots of things. Uh, again I also got this another kind of pencil case again I'm not going to be using it as a pencil case. I just really loved this uh, flower pattern like they had a lot of different items with this on and it's just like a wooden sliding pencil case and I'm hoping to use this for tools because I want to um, learn how to flower press so hopefully I'll be able to put the stuff in there and it's kind of related uh, this really cute collection that went with the pencil cases that I got uh, was uh, kind of like garden animals and like bugs and stuff so this cute memo set with a hedgehog and snail which I really liked uh, and look at the little mole and the worm who got like the bunny and everything about it. you know if you've seen my previous vlogs you'll know that I'm kind of obsessed with memo notes so that was good to find and then I found these two which goes with the set uh, they are um, little kind of squared note paper like notepads as you could say I guess um, and I was curious to see if the design the animal design is throughout all the pages because I can see all the lines are I'd really I'm gonna get them open in a sec um, to have a look so here's all of the plastic off and oh I'm so happy that the designs are long because that was the main thing is that they were quite cheap I think they were about a pound each in Tiger I was hoping that they'd have the design on so that's really cool and really cute and this is one of the things that I was really excited to find. Uh, it's a flower press kit. Uh, so it comes with obviously the flower press and a the kind of, it's like a notebook, but it has a different type of paper for you to put your pressed flowers in and keep them safe without them falling out. So I'll show you here. 
Uh, it's also got the same design as the wooden box that I bought, which I'm very happy about because I just love this design and the collection is stunning. Uh, so obviously you have the little screws that you can um, flatten the flowers in. Uh, press them should I say it's a flower press um, and I'm excited to collect some samples of flowers that I'll be able to keepsake in this really beautiful book as well that it came with so as you can see the pages in it have this kind of it's kind of like a sticky back that you peel back and you'll be able to keep your flowers safe without them falling out um, but yeah I was so happy to find this um, I almost want to get another one because I know that then I can double up on all of the flowers that I can press and I'd like to like add it into uh, presents for people and like letters and add that special touch and <laughs> I this is kind of a random item to have in the haul but I really love these tissues they have the same theme um, and they're just super cute to have in your bag and on cute little picnics and then I found these uh, tapes with a similar design again um, flying tiger is what all of this is from uh, so we've got the pink one with the daisies and then a similar uh, pattern to the other the flower press and the wooden box but on like a darker and a lighter background and then I believe yes these two pencil cases that I got uh, they're kind of like a fabric I can't even think of the fabric now um, but they have uh, two zips one at the front and one at the back oh I forgot to mention these were from Typo I just really loved the design of the flowers on this one and I got them on sale for two pounds each which was a plus uh, I can never have enough pencil cases uh, and as soon as I saw this uh, purple gingham one I just had to get it I mean it's one of my favorite colors and also like because I am into that kind of cottage core picnic style at the moment I just had to get it and then we did have a quick pop into Primark to pick up some like necessities um, and I found these really cute notebooks that I'm going to share with uh, Cool Cookie Creatures who is a massive fan of Lilo and Stitch um, and I just really liked the first two designs um, I haven't really seen the f oh the middle one's so pretty too and oh I like the fact that I've, I've had a few of these before when I used to go to uni and what I really loved about it is that it comes with two that have the note paper and one that has plain paper. I found the plain paper one really cute to just have as like a mini doodle sketchbook that you can bring around because they are this small size. Uh, they're perfect to carry in like small handbags and like and they're very light as well so that's useful. And then I came across these two collapsible storage boxes. They are quite a small size which is perfect for me uh, they're really good to put on your desk to just kind of store things in temporarily or keep them up for whatever you want i'm hoping to be using this to store like obviously they fit those notebooks but i'm hoping to store my like, pins and stickers within these they stack really easily and they're just a the perfect size for my desk and i did go into the works this one, this um, pad here has like, I think it's 30 different designs. I mean, it was 30 pages. I, uh, you'll probably see if you screen, screen grab the first bit. But yeah, all of the f patterns for this is like florals, purples, blues and pinks. We have like some bird patterns in there and just some like basic block patterns. And again, with the theme of like, the floral cottage core which I'm very inspired with at the moment uh, and kind of what I'm going for this summer uh, was really pretty and I'm hoping to make some more like cards 
and use more like paper craft things with these. So yeah, that was my kind of my haul from Exeter. I decided to, as I haven't been out for so long properly, to look in like other stores than just going for a shop, like a food shop in Asda or somewhere. Um, I treated myself to a few goodies, um, which I don't regret because I, I'm just like a hoarding goblin. I need to have all of the craft and the pretty things. And as you can see, <laughs> I think there's a total of five pencil cases I bought, <laughs> which is hilarious, but they're so cute. Also, I did forget to mention we brought this amazing, well, two different donuts from Krispy Kremes and they taste amazing. One's strawberry lemonade and the other one is, um, I can't even remember, but they are super nice. And here's Percy again. I was blessed to visit my friends who are the owners of Percy and they recently got him a watermelon toy that you fill up with water and put in the freezer. So it's great for summertime. And he, as you can see here, he's obsessed with it. Um, but it's just good to cool down in summer times, especially with corgis, because you can't actually um, trim their coat. You actually have to wait for it to shed naturally. And as the weather's been a bit strange recently, he hasn't really shed much of his coat yet. So they're just trying to keep him cool as possible. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> I hope you enjoy these clips of this cute little Percy. It's definitely Percy the Piranha here. Um, but if you enjoyed this video and you liked it, I would really appreciate it if you gave me a like and a subscribe if you haven't already and I will hopefully see you in the next studio vlog which will be next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!